Fantastic. Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to Sim Airport, where our little airport is about ready to receive some passengers. But before we have some passengers, we need some flights. Let's first just give everything a quick once over, remind ourselves what we did since last time, and um, then crack on with getting those flights sorted. And uh, just a note, I would normally do a little bit of work between episodes to progress the game. However, um, it's noted that we are in day one, and I wanted to get some flights scheduled before day two, and I didn't want you guys to miss that. So we haven't actually done anything since last time, this this particular episode. So uh, our drop-off section got moved to this uh, near this large sliding door. Um, we've got a large sneaky line which goes to two ticketing desks, both of which are manned by staff. Um, we have female and male restrooms that were there by default. We added a second ticketing zone uh, with ticketing machines for those who don't need to drop any bags off. Uh, we've got a baggage reclaim belt. It says oh, it says bag one next to it there. That's that's good. I never noticed that before. And uh, we've got a security which we doubled up. There's two rows of um, queues going into security. I suppose I could have put one big row in like I did with tickets but we'll see which method works the best and then probably implement that in lots of different places we put a bypass in so that we can get out from aeroplanes to the baggage claim without going through security and we put a big long snake in into a second gate agents we've got two gate agents and our gate that all sounds pretty good. Now let's just make sure that they're all connected. So the ticketing desk is assigned to that queue, as is that one. Brilliant. Security is not assigned to that queue, and that one's not. A ah, look, right. Okay. Oh, hang on a minute. That right, there's the desk assigned to queue. There we go. Good job we. Uh, good job we checked that. Okay. Assign that one to that queue. All right. Okay. So those queues are all assigned, and I think these ones are as well. So. That gate agent is assigned to that desk and that gate, and so is that one. Brilliant. And then we've got this baggage depot, which is also assigned to that gate. And we in the hangar, we've got vehicles. We've got a baggage car in slot one. Assign vehicles. I'm not sure... I mean, how that dismantle... I don't want to dismantle it. Slots are not empty. So if I click Assign Vehicles... Oh, there we go. Did it assign to? I'm not sure if we did that. Probably fine. So the baggage depot, yeah, it looks like it's fine. Uh, and then if we go underground, uh, no, not queues, utilities, we have a number of um, collection points. These are the ticketing desks where the baggage can go down. The arrows are all now bouncing for some reason. Not sure why. Baggage depot there. Baggage hub to sort the bags out. I think we're all good. Definitely. Right. Let's crack on with scheduling those flights. So the first thing we need to do, oh and also of course, silly me, uh, we also upgraded the runway so it's got lights on it so we can do nighttime and daytime. Let's click on the aeroplane interest button and this gives us our available flights. And let's click on schedule. Now at the minute we've got one gate so we can only have one aircraft at once. That's fine though. Let's see what we've got available to us. So we've got aero times, which of these uh, gives various different aircrafts. Uh, Boeing 737, which is that one, is 140 passengers. I think we can handle 140 passengers. I don't think we can handle like the huge aircraft with like 300 and odd passengers in it yet. It's just not going to happen. Um, but we'll have that nighttime Boeing 737. Why not? There we go. Um, we can't have the 707. Our runway isn't big enough. And we now have a flight to schedule. Here's the flight. So if we take that flight and we have to put it... Let's just see. 
do we have to put it in this slot over here? There, there we go. We have to put it in this slot here. So the arrival time has to be within this slot. So we'll put it at the beginning of that slot. There we go. That's a good. That's a good start. Um, also, it doesn't have to be two hours long. We can make it an hour and a half long. That should be fine. If we're efficient, it should be fine. Um, what else have we got? Uh, have we got another 737? There's another 737 there in the afternoon. We'll have that one as well. Okay, so that has to go in the afternoon. So let's put it in the afternoon slot. We'll have it from noon. And the idea is, is to fit as many planes in as possible. Um, 707, what's this CR900? Which one's that one? That's that one. 75 passengers. Not interested. Thank you very much. Um... So we've got a few, quite a few different aircraft options available here. There's just a few 737s as well. And the, look, there's a Boeing 767 at 250 passengers. I don't feel comfortable with that, and we probably can't get it on our runway. But there's a nighttime 737 there, so we'll have that. And we'll make it take off. Uh, we'll see if we can get it like that for now. Try and fit as much in as possible. Um, what else have we got? There's anything else? There is a morning 767, which is the large aircraft. No, nothing, nothing more available. So we've filled up our night slots already. Okay, next one. Um, there's an afternoon 707, which is 180 passengers. Uh, we can't do that though. We require a bigger runway. So let's check the next one out. The next one here, we've had got three um, available. Oh, there's an Airbus A320, which is this one here at 150 passengers in the morning. We'll have that. Uh, this aircraft here at 19 passengers, not interested. And we'll put that aircraft in there. Right, uh, which one did we just do? I think we just did that one, didn't we? Yes, we did. Which means we're now looking at this next one, Union Air. Um, there's only an A320 Airbus at night available. That's no good for us. We don't want night ones, so we move on to Aerostar. Right. The only one we can accept in this list is the uh, 195, which is this one at 90 passengers. So ideally, we don't want that one. And then we'd have not built a good enough rating for anybody else. There's a 195 here, which is 140 passengers in the morning. Perfect, we'll have that. Right, that is us booked up. Um, yeah, let's spread them out a little bit. We need, we could do with some more afternoon flights, um, some more PM flights, uh, but I can't accept that. The runway is not big enough. Um, the 900 is only 19 passengers. To me, it's not worth it. Um, bear in mind, you get you get paid for. Let's just have a quick look again. That's the wrong one. Where's it gone? Is it this one? I lost it. Is that it? At 19 passengers, yes. So you get um, 2,600 um, for a new scheduled flight. Uh, you get 5,200 for a terminated flight on that. And then again, there's there's no extra... Alright, we'll have the afternoon flight there because there's no extra bonus per passenger at the moment. There will be later on. There we go. Well, we've got two at night, two in the afternoon, and two in the morning. Um, I feel like we could squeeze one more in in the morning if we had that available. Um, there is a morning flight for a CR J900. 75 passengers. That will do for now. It will. There we go. Right, so let's now just schedule this up so that these ones are got at least an hour between them. We can move them around in 15 minute intervals. So I say if we have this one there, that there, that's an hour and 15 minutes between. That one there, that's an hour and 15 minutes between. That one, 
that's... Is that an hour between? Is that an hour between? Now and... Oh, God, no, it's that 45 minutes between. Uh, hang on a second. That would be... An hour. That would be an hour and 15. Yeah, that's right. So... That would be an hour. That's an hour and 15. Okay, so we're there, there's plenty of room. We'll just move that along to... Or one. One. There we go. Right. Done. We have our schedule done. And of course, we're going to be putting in a second gate at some point and more runways. And it's going to get stupidly complicated. Um, but we should receive lots of money. There we are. Look. F um, you can see in green there, uh, bank loans. We don't want a loan. Thank you very much. Uh, if you look at the bank balance there, recent transaction, we've got thousands and thousands and thousands for accepting those flights. Um, so, uh, I guess the only thing to do now is to see how the first day goes. And maybe look at putting in a new a new gate. Yeah, let's look at that. Oh no, hang on, we haven't got any facilities for passengers yet. Okay, let's put the second gate in and then get for uh, facilities for passengers. So objects, gate, a small gate to begin with. There we go. Now, for some reason, it's the wrong way around. So let's rotate that. There it is. Right, that's the right way around now. It won't let me place it that close. So second gate, brilliant. We'll need some doors objects door uh, sliding door should do it for now I think there we go now next to that sliding door we're going to need some uh, what are these guys gate agents that's it so gate uh, there gate agent desk and if we do something similar to what we got there kind of mirror it one there and one there and then I th we might need to move the, the queue a little bit. Because um, their queue starts diagonally there. And kind of does that. And these two queues are now smashed into each other. We've got one, two, three. Oh, actually. That is perfect symmetry. Well, how did I manage that? Nothing but a fluke. Uh, I accidentally got a new queue. Get away. There we go. You can see the workmen are working very hard um, to build that. Uh, to build the gate. It's gate B1, apparently. Don't know how that works. No idea at all. Um, we've just paid a lot for the bus service, infrastructure, wages, and all sorts of stuff. Well, there you are. That's not too bad. I thought it would take a while to do that, but no. It didn't take long at all. Right, now I'm thinking waiting area. Normally what I would do is have a big, fat waiting area, but we need to try and keep this area free of, for people to move out of there. So if we look at benches, we've got... If I spell it right, um, looks like... A couple of different kinds of bench. We'll get the basic bench to start with. And we will put... I was thinking about putting a rack of benches down here. But I think that blocks it off just a little bit too much. So let's rotate this round. Can we get two sets of benches in? We can. So we're going to put a rack of benches down there. And then we're going to leave a gap. We'll put a rack of benches there. We'll leave another gap, rack of benches there, another double gap, and we'll put the last set of benches there. So there's a few benches around. It's probably not enough, but never mind. Um, okay. Things are starting to get... Now, hang on a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, let's carry on. Let's carry on for now. I will do what I'm about to do and what I'm thinking of doing soon. Staff, we're going to need... Um, what are we going to need? We're going to need... A member of staff to work those gate desks. Ramp agent, uh, staff security workman. Yeah, there we are. 
So I don't, where are you going? I don't know. Let's assign these gates to stuff. So assign to this queue and to this gate. Brilliant. And this desk gauge, desk here, go assign that to this queue and this gate. Now I was thinking about having um, like jump queues or priority queues for first class passengers. But I can't really be bothered with that right now. This is a small airport. Um, we barely got enough room to do anything that we have to do, let alone anything I want to do. So we'll look at that a little later. Um, so wh what I was about to say is now we've got another gate, we can schedule more flights. What we are going to do is assign this baggage depot. Uh, let's see here. Baggage depot assigned to... the gates. There we are. So that baggage depot is now dealing with both gates. Fine. That's good. Um, what do we have to do now? We have to look at getting more flights in. Well, to be honest, there's not a lot of interest. Let's just go down the list and accept what we can. So none of them we can accept. Brilliant. We can accept a night flight here from a 737. In fact, we can accept two night flights. Um... We've got nothing we can accept there. We've got a, a small aircraft we can accept there at night. We don't want another night one. There's a night one there. There's lots of night ones. Night one. In fact, there's um, an afternoon one there. Well, that's one. Yeah, we'll have that. I think that is actually every single aircraft we can accept because there's either too many night flights or our runway isn't big enough. Let's go back to our scheduling. We've got three aircraft to add in here. So this one is a night slot, so we'll drop it there. This one is an afternoon slot, we'll drop it there. And this one's a night slot, we'll drop it there too. Right, let's have a close... Oh, I didn't drop that in. So ideally, what we want to do now is get these slots so that they stagger, so that we don't have loads of people all kind of piling through security and baggage claim at the same time. I think that's probably an, an okay way of doing it. So that we're using gate one, then we're using gate two in the downtime of gate one, and we're staggering it like that. We'll see how that goes. It's not even the end of the first day yet, and we already have two gates. I'm thinking about putting a third one in, but that's a little bit crazy. Now, let's have a look at research. We haven't touched research. Okay, so we've got finance. Um, we have the ability to hire a CEO. Um, no, sorry, a C CFO. The CFO allows you to conduct additional research. Ability to assign a, a chief of operations. So it, dis it depends what sort of level and areas of research we want to go in as to who we need to hire first. Um, so we've got... Uh, fuel ports, allow gates to be upgraded with fuel ports that can deliver fuel right to the jet where it's needed. An advanced ticketing system. Land expansion, standby gates. Standby gates are a good thing. Um, agent ops, light rail transit. Okay, bank loans, low interest. Pricing, that's what I want. I want to be able to adjust pricing. So let's research finance and then hire a CFO. There we go. Now, I think I'm quite happy with the way things are at the moment. I might be looking at getting another ticketing desk. I'm fairly sure our security can handle it right now. But let's fast forward to the beginning uh, of day two, and it's going to be 4 a.m. when we should see our first flight come in. Um, and I am going quite quick here. In fact, I will see you um, at 4 a.m. ish. Okay, it's about 2 a.m. and we've just had our first busload of people arrive ready for um, going on the first flight. Uh, we've got a number of people that have gone through uh, the ticking in desks. In fact, most of them just went through very, very quickly. And they're now going through security. We'll have a look, closer look at security in a minute. But I wanted to see what our baggage system was handling like. Do we get to see the bags? I don't think we do. 
we'll have a look at that later um, but you can see now people going through security um, they're checking their ID they're scanning their bags they're metal detecting the people it seems to be all going quite well there um, they're using the queues which is working quite nicely yeah that's all good and they're coming through to this section of the airport here now one thing that we didn't do for these people is give them any facilities at all so we'll look at decor later um, but I'm thinking we want maybe a flight info display but we definitely need an ATM so let's put an ATM there and a few garbage bins so if we put a garbage bin there 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 and there and then have we got outdoor lights no nope. toilets no nope, we don't want that um, I wonder like a vending machine is that gonna go into retail We'll put a bar in. No, we'll do that sort of thing later when we're actually really expanding things. Uh, uh, vending? Oh, that's electronic drinks machine. There we are. Can we have a, we'll put a drinks machine in. Um, so we'll have... We rotate that round. One drinks machine there. One drinks machine there. And there's a coffee maker and a food vendor. So we'll have a food vendor... I get the right way around there and a food vendor there then we've got two of each and should we have an electronics vending yeah why not let's put an electronics vending machine in next to the ATM cool so they can uh, go past the electronics vending go oh I want one of them go to the ATM take out all their money and then um, spend it uh, pizza oven prep no, I think we're alright for now one thing that we might want is a flight thing so let's um, let's put the flight info next to queue here do you think yeah let's put one of them there and one of them there god it's really filling up now we've had another busload of people come in they're all going through security nice. Are those people at the agent desks? Yes, they are. It's now 3 a.m., one hour until the flights, and there are lots of people milling around. And they seem to be quite happy stood there as well. They don't seem to be bothered about using benches. They don't seem to be that bothered about workmen coming through to uh, install equipment. Oh, some people are using the restrooms. Uh, just washing their hands and standing by the toilet. We're going to have more people arriving soon. Is this the bus arriving with more people? No, it's not. But we do have a passenger here. Looks like she's only got hand luggage. I think nearly all of these people had hand luggage. Which is... Oh, hang on. Yeah, they are. See, look. She's using the ticketing kiosk. And now heading to security. Fantastic. Security is not backing up. This is great. She's actually using the queue, wiggling backwards and forwards. And she goes, look, here you go, look at my ID. Um, scan my bag, which she appears still to be holding, but I'm sure that might be in a future update. And then scan me, and then, oh my goodness. Okay, it, it, there is quite a queue for the vending machine, it appears, I think. No, it's just people getting stuck. Oh, this isn't good. Um, it, it, it appears that the electronics vending machine is actually being used. Food, food vend... No, no, food vending is... We're right, okay, we need more vending machines. Oh, what are they called? Oh, I put vent. Oh, I put van. Oh, our first aircraft's arrived. Where is it? Here it is, coming near the top of the screen. Yeah, landed beautifully. Let's have a closer look. 
So um, its scheduled arrival was four o'clock. It's not quite there yet, um, but it's taxiing down the taxiway. It's going to go to gate one, which it is doing. Um, apparently, our passenger satisfaction is increasing immensely. Queue for the vending machine's gone down. Okay, so. The aeroplane has parked, the baggage car is on its way, presumably to empty the aircraft of any bags, because of course we've got people that are going to be getting off this flight. So the baggage car has been unloaded now. It actually says, but I can't quite read it, what does it say? Transferring bags, 14 bags, okay. And then we've got people leaving. Look at that! Okay, so what do we follow? The bags or the people? We'll follow the people for now. Or we'll try and follow both. Try and follow both. So the people are flooding out. The bags at the top there are now being taken and transferred to the baggage carousel. If we have a look at utilities... No, we don't actually get to see the bags at this stage. And then, let's have a look at all these people. Yep, they're using the... Um, the route there to go round. It looks like some people are wanting to use the restrooms. There's a bag, it got picked up. And another bag. So the baggage system is working fantastically. And everybody else is just flowing out through to the exit. This is brilliant. Uh, that person lost their head um, and the rest of the body, but it seems to be okay. I hope nobody takes the bag that they shouldn't take. I hope everybody takes their own bags. It's looking good. And then everybody's waiting around in pickups. Cracking. Well, oh, and actually all our people are starting to get on the plane now. So they've all piled into this ticketing queue. All the bags have been loaded as well. The baggage cart is about to leave. Cracking. And it looks like we've got a couple of people here that don't know how to walk. Eh, it's doing okay. They're coming to the side of the, the booth. They're going in twos to get through. That's that's okay. It's working fine. Is everybody going to get through? When's it scheduled to leave? We're nearly finished boarding. Um, scheduled departure is in 39 minutes. And with 39 minutes remaining, it is departing. Everybody's boarded. All the bags are on there. Everything is sorted. Well, that, I believe, was in a very efficient setup there. Hopefully, the airline interest will peak up a bit and we can get some more flights scheduled. Uh, vending machine income, food machine income, and food machine income has gone up. Aircraft is... Should we follow the aircraft out? I think so. So, um... Oh, it turned around and went this way. I wonder which way it's going to take off. Oh, it's going to take off right to left. If we look at um, our schedule, that was our 4 a.m. flight. Next one due in is quarter to seven. So it's been a little, been a little while. I re I just want to see this aircraft take off because I haven't really watched that properly before. Nice. I think the aircraft should really change in size slightly. <laughs> um, it should really get larger because it's going up in the air and getting closer to us, which is very odd. Well, there we are, folks. Not only do we not have a functioning airport now. Um, do we have? Not do we not have. Do we have? We do have. Um, we do have a function airport, but we've also had our first flight. Between now and next time, uh, I'll probably allow a few more flights to come through and do some planning ready to see how we can expand and grow in the future. I'm thinking that we're probably going to end up taking out this gate and expanding this whole ticketing area. Um, but I'll do some planning and work out what we're going to do ready for next time, and I shall see you then. 
Thank you very much for watching. Leave your thoughts, ideas and questions down in the comments section below. And if you're new, consider subscribing for more Sim Airport and lots of other simulation and strategy games and some other stuff thrown in as well. I've been Master Hadesh. Goodbye for now.